Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Well guys, I'm trying to beat my brain out all day how I was going to do this. There's area in here and I think it's going to be too hard and I think I just need to give up on this project. Not. <laughs> Not we can't be giving up. Oh man, that video uh, video ended early today. I don't know why, guys. I apologize, but I pulled my canopy out too. Came out perfect. Not a void nowhere. No, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got a little one under here on this flange. No big deal. Bam! Beautiful baby. This is beautiful. Okay. I've been kind of bracking my brain all day how I was going to do this. And I got it figured out. Okay. I used the mold that I made for my gear door. See, my gear door's right there. And all. basically, all I made this for was to make gear doors. But I found a better purpose for it. Bam! Oh yeah, oh yeah, I loaded that bad boy up. Bam, fits like a glove. Now, all I got to do is lay this piece on top of that one. Now, I'm just careful. I don't want to put too deep and scratch my primer up. Bam! Bam, baby! Check that out. Bam! Now just come in here with some tape when I'm ready, I think. I'll just put me a couple little pieces of tape in there to hold it together while I get it in the bag, you know. And then uh, just leave the tape on it. Bang. Well, I believe that's going to work. What do you think? Small imaginations yield small results, baby. That evil was a smart man. Believe it or not, he was a genius. In his own right. You know how he got that Caesar's Palace gig? You know, and evil was kind of a no name before he jumped to Caesar's Palace. You know, he went around carnivals and fairs and stuff like that. But what made this so brilliant and you see if he had just called him up and said hey I'm evil can evil I want to jump the fountains the guy would have said you're a fruitcake get out of here. But <laughs> he called the guy who owned Caesar's Palace he just built it said I'm so and so from Life Magazine I heard Evel Neville was going to ju jump your hotel. He said, what? Well, you're crazy. Next day, he calls up that owner again and says, I'm so-and-so from uh, Sports Illustrated. He didn't say Evel Neville. Again, he used a different name. Awful, awful, awful. I heard awful, awful was going to jump your fountains. The guy says, you're crazy. Get out of here. Awful, awful. Evel Neville. <laughs> so the next day, he calls him up again. And he says, I'm Evel Knievel. And the guy says, where you been? I've been looking for you. And bam, got the job. You know, now if he would have made that jump, everyone would have said, oh, that's easy, you know. And, you know, he probably would have just fizzled away. But since he crashed, that jump became impossible. 
<laughs> and Evil Knievel was born. <laughs> but that was just brilliant in my book. You know what I mean? I heard Evil Neville. <laughs> You're on the tail. I gotta take this one and I gotta put a bend in it to go down and there like so and it's got bend around. So, without any further ado, I'm going to do that. I heard Evel Neville was going to come here on the hotel. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's for the Spence boy. Now I've got to kind of be careful. We don't want to mar up my primer. Now this is metal etching primer, guys. I use that because uh, it don't shrink like uh, your thing. I'm not sure I've been this the right way. Okay. Up. Right there. Thing got a bunch of that foam. But that's basically what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to put a piece there and I'm going to, have to cut a new one. I don't want that gap being back there. It would fill up with resin, but that would make it hard to trim. Like that. See this back here kind of locks that in place. Okay. That battery on there for some weight. Get that out of the way because we don't want to get that hot and then we go back to its original shape. See that's that's what I used right there. Then I, I got it hot. What I did. I kind of got it all hot, got the form somewhat, put it in a vacuum bag, put a, pull the vacuum on it, and that's high temperature plastic. So I was kind of able to heat it a little bit. I uh, was turning my vacuum pump on and off. I pulled a little vacuum, heat it up some more, pull a little, uh, a little more vacuum, 
because my first two, I just tried to pull vacuum and it just went pop. But uh, now that I learned how to do it, uh, it ain't so bad. So I have to do that when I make my gear doors anyway. Now, you gotta bend these leading edges. It ain't that big a deal. It'll we'll take but a minute. This foam, um, kind of a little easier to bend than that other foam I was using, because this don't have the fire retardant in it, you know, but since Associated Industries sold the mainly Beach and Cessna and Learjet, they had to buy the fire retardant foam and I was able to get the non-fire retardant you know I ain't got to deal with the FAA and all their rules okay bam now we ain't done yet we can't leave this long on this edge because what it does is it pulls it down like that. Okay? I have found that it works best when it's about a, a sixteenth of an inch too long. To you guys in Australia, that's a tote here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a little bit long. That way when I pull it on vacuum I could I could you know work it in there a little bit better. And bam, there's my mark. Okay. It's not that bad using the phone. Not that bad using phone. Hey, I got another camera donation. My buddy Jonathan, big fan. So, I think I might be able to go buy this camera tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow, or the next day. When I want, it's 350 bucks. And you guys are going to benefit way more than me. It's just going to benefit me fast downloads. I'm going to sit the computer. I know you guys are getting tired of me talking about a camera. Y'all just want to build an action. Don't want the drama involved. <laughs> Bam! Bam, baby! Man. Sign here is a bit long. It's a bit long. This bottom one, top wing is going to be easy. The bottom wing is going to be a jigsaw puzzle, man. But once I get it figured out. I guarantee you one thing, it's going to be a nice set of wings right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, now i got to make a little of these. I'm trying to get this one laid up tonight. And uh, top wing's easy, just one piece of room. Took her down. Bottom wing I got figured out, so it won't be so bad. But I'm trying to get this one laid up tonight, guys. This piece is a bit short. Done with this battery. Alright, did I tell you guys I bought I got all this foam? I 
bought 60 sheets of it. 60. I bought a whole pallet. Not there on my trailer. I got 10 sheets back there on that wall. Back there. On that wall. Can you see it back there? It's 10 sheets back there. I want to get the rest of the box carried down to the basement. I'll sure come off some sheets. Fifty dollars a sheet, guys. And I was paying ninety at an associated. That's for a four by eight sheet. And to ship it, what we can do is I can cut them in half to a four by eight sheet and put it between two pieces of cardboard. I can buy uh, four by eight pieces of cardboard. And the shipping won't be bad. But sure we'd like to get rid of ten twenty sheets. I'm going to lay me up a bomber this winter. Oh yeah, that was part of my holdup, was waiting for that phone. For some phone. Then I got busy. Then this, and then that. Oh, I hope my turbine gets here for my half four somewhere. I'm gonna get that thing done. Okay, now I need to mark this pattern. I'll mark it to add an eighth inch on the back. To where I know. I ain't gotta throw that pattern away. Don't mean they're burned. But if I can get a couple more donations here pretty quick, I'll go buy that camera tomorrow. Oh yeah. It works. Uh the one I want is a cannon. Guys, it's 350 bucks. But it's made for indoors, man. It's got works great on low light. And uh and uh super fast downloads Wi-Fi. I can take uh videos at the flying field and upload them, bam, from the field with my super fast G5 phone. Take the same thing and heat this up. Hold that camera still on.
right there. Oh yeah. Oh stop. Bang. That goes there. That goes there. Bam. That's gonna work guys. I'm gonna see if I can't get that laid up tonight. I'll make you make you a video cussing a little later. <laughs> we'll see you guys back in the shop. Sing Bob time. Sing Bob Station.